what is going on you guys uh zubair shahid here on another adventure currently it is 7 a.m in the morning here in the uk and i am on my way to the nc 500 the famous scotland highway and uh, the journey is going to be for the next five days and we're starting off just now so let me take you guys with me along the journey so yes since i will just be going for the next four days i'm trying to travel light it's got my jacket just in case if the weather gets a bit cold then all right guys uh, this is going to be our ride for the next five days and we are driving ourselves to the nc 500 and back all right guys so currently we are stuck here on the m40 highway and we've just been out from our journey for 40 minutes but i think this has been a huge accident and we've been waiting here for almost uh, of an hour and a half now and i think this is one of the disadvantages of living here in the uk when the traffic gets stuck everything stops and we never know how long it's going to take so initially we were supposed to arrive in edinburgh around 2 p.m but I think now it's going to be around 3 or 4. Alright guys, so finally we have arrived in Edinburgh after almost an eight hour long drive out of which three we were just waiting on the m4 highway because of the traffic incident that was on our way uh, other than that the drive was pretty pleasant and uh, we didn't see uh, any traffic on the way as well as the weather was uh, quite pleasant we got to see a lot of good sceneries on the way we stopped twice at the services and it was all pretty smooth sailing and right now in Edinburgh it is a bit chilly I think the weather is around 10 to 12 degrees and it is a bit crowded because of uh, the coming bank holiday as well as the summer holidays so let me show you guys what that is like As we are now inside Camera Obscura, the most famous attraction in Edinburgh. And it was really hard to get a ticket, but we did manage to get one. And we are now making our way up. So the attraction is almost two hours long. So make sure you have enough time if you would like to see everything. So the first thing we're doing is that we are on our way to the rooftop to see if we can catch the sunset. Alright guys, so after walking almost for an hour and a half on the two floors, we are finally at the rooftop gallery for which we actually paid extra to see the sunset but because of the weather i don't think that would be possible but yeah so let's see how the rooftop turns out all right guys so now we have finally made it to the top of the tower and to be honest that is the most exciting part uh, in the entire world of illusion definitely worth a visit but we couldn't get the sunset views that we were hoping for because of the weather but overall a great experience you are my sun you are my sunshine you are my sun right, guys okay, so we finally made it to our airbnb it's currently 2 a.m at night and it took us a lot longer than we expected to reach here but yeah so we're finally here and it's just a room and we've got an area to sit outside on the deck which you cannot see right now because it's extremely dark so i'll probably show you that in the morning but other than that it's 
I think more than enough for one night so yeah it looks pretty comfortable the beds are really good and the reviews on Airbnb were really nice and I'm paying around 90 pounds for one night so yeah not too bad so we'll rest up now because we have a long day ahead of us in the morning all right guys so now we are finally up it's currently 10 a.m in the morning and last night we had a very long drive we got here around 2 a.m and we got a bit lost as well on our way so let me show you what the property is like from the outside we have this deck area which we did not get to use because of the limited amount of time that we had and this is a bit of a garden i don't think we can go over there but other than that pretty much good vibes uh, for the price it is quite reasonable the only thing i would say is that it is a bit off the road so you might have to drive a bit on the inside but overall it is a good property and i would definitely recommend it for the price given that we paid only 90 pounds for one night for two people So this is our first stop of the day. We are at the Ferry Glen, which is a waterfall near where we were staying. About 20 minutes drive from here. They even had a parking. Yeah, so so far it looks really nice. It's quite beautiful. And let me show you guys around. <music> The Glen Falls. To be honest, I was expecting it to be a bit bigger, but nonetheless, the trail was quite beautiful and nothing too tiring. So yeah, it took us it took us around uh, 25 to 30 minutes to do the trail one way, and now we'll be heading back shortly. So yeah, overall, an amazing experience. guys this is where we had an amazing breakfast a lot better than the food that we ate yesterday in edinburgh even though this is a bit more secluded but i have a lot of options that are gluten and vegan friendly so i got the fish and chips the prices are quite reasonable as well so definitely recommend it if you are in the area and now we have arrived at one other monument on the nc 500 which is a finnish park as you can see we are deep into the desert and uh, overall it is quite beautiful and if you are someone who loves to be in the nature and likes a bit of an adventure it cannot get any better than this we are now currently walking towards the Irish monument and the trail is quite challenging a lot more than the first one and we are out trying our best to reach the top the trail is lasts at least two to two and a half hours depending how slow or fast you're walking so make sure you have enough time to cover it all i think the one mistake that we made is that we did not or forgot to bring our water bottles which i think was a bit of a mistake but i guess there's no point going back now all right guys so i think we're almost halfway there and this is the view just check it out you can pretty much see the entire nc 500 from here Yeah, we are almost here now pretty excited i don't know what the map can hold but the trail that we took it was pretty challenging and it was good to know that we 
can still push ourselves to get all the way up here. And once again, the views are pretty amazing and surprisingly like nobody else is on this trail except for the two of us. So that makes it rather more exciting and the fact that it only started raining as soon as we got closer to the monument was just magical. Alright guys, so this is the glamping part that we have gotten here in NC500 and it comes with a hot tub that we'll, we will be checking out in a short while. Other than that, it's quite sufficient. I think we're just staying here for a night, so not too bad, can't complain. Although we don't have much option for food around here and we did get some noodles with us, but overall I think it's going to be a great experience let me go out and show you guys what the hot tub is like and this is our hot tub just look at this thing it's massive good enough for at least four people and we've already set the temperature at 30 to 40 degrees so yeah it looks pretty amazing we'll be just going in to it for after a while and the weather outside is a bit cold, but I think it's going to be really worth it. This is my first experience going to an open air hot tub. So yeah, I think it's going to be an amazing experience. And uh, this is not electrical, if anybody is wondering. They have the place to put the wood over here. And uh, the owner of the Airbnb were kind enough to have it ready before our time of arrival and we just let them know by what time we will be coming in and yeah they had it ready so seems like a good experience mm -hmm. 